quick update. Look at this gorgeous parrot up in the tree. Oh, all the tapping's on. That's complete. The gutters are on, holding the roof panels in place. That's the guttering. And there's gravel inside. Quarter minus. Crushed. Oh, which is humid. I haven't been in here for a while. Uh, crushed um, blue metal, I guess. It's kind of mudstone. Or maybe basalt. I'm not sure. So, yeah, packed it out. And it's ready to start putting the planters in. I'm just going to open it again because it's uh, a bit stifling in here. There we go, it's a vent. Up to the sky. So it'll draw hot air out straight away. Yeah, you can already feel the difference. So I've lost the back white, as I've said in other ones. And uh, it's done. It is done. Uh, so, a summary. It was very difficult to put up. For someone with no sort of landscaping experience, getting the base level was difficult. Uh, you must have a level if you want to put one of these greenhouse kits together. And... Uh, Maybe better step back and not get upset if you make mistakes um, because the instructions are poor enough that you will have to rework a lot of things. So yeah, I'll put that. I made a couple of mistakes and that is why that's there. I just hung out here because I'm going to hang a watering drip system off it because you're meant to have extra uh, extra bolts here because for this extra bolts up here for this side brace this, light, this brace I put them in on this part but I didn't have the extra bolt down here for the roof brace so there you have it I have the slightly more important roof braces I think they're more important the ones at the top but not the side wall roof brace um, I guess I'm counting on rigidity to come from other parts particularly this lateral brace here and now I've got one of the beds in that's some of the excess sand uh, people with a good eye will realise that this is not level it's quite lumpy I've raised the middle part uh, from sort of this side so this side is raised a bit, the idea being that the planters are going to be around that and I don't want this, I don't want this path, part, what I'm calling a path, to get too soggy so the planters will be around the left on the end and all around there, big U shape and up the front as well for seedlings. The idea is also that they will go up as you go backwards, higher at the back, lower at the front. I can also put some hanging stuff in here. Transparency is okay. No, you can certainly see stuff growing in there. And if you've got a good eye, you'll be able to tell. Whereas it's zoops or tomatoes or chilies or whatever. So, yeah, all up, the whole project cost me probably about 12 hours of labour. And. Uh, 1140 for the greenhouse delivered greenhouse kit and 60 for the quarter minus uh, everything else uh, and about 10 bucks for some uh, brackets and screws everything else was recycled or here already like the sand and whatnot so greenhouse complete I will get beds ready and start planting and update those later